Hello and welcome back. My name is Brendan Wynn and today I will be reflecting on Hearst House and Langerax views on abortion. So first up, Langerax view on abortion is that UDHs always possess some degree of moral value due to their potential to become grown people and that this value, this moral value, increases over the course of pregnancy. And um, I believe that this works that this would work most of the time, that um, UDHs always do possess some um, some uh, moral value. And um, basically what she's saying is that abortion is never really okay. Like, um, like, doesn't matter what age, like, how old the UDH is, it still has moral value. Um, and I'll talk about that more later. And Hearst House's view on abortion is that abortions are never, never neutral events. They are sometimes unethical, but are in some cases very much ethical. Um, I agree with this, that in some ways, not all of it, that, um, uh, that abortions are sometimes unethical, and sometimes they are ethical. Not very much so, like Hearst House thinks. I think that they're most of the time they're not going to be ethical, and that there are a few cases um, where it would be, such as if it's to save the mother's life, like um, or some of those other cases on that sheet we did a couple weeks back. And so I agree with that with Hearst. I think that works most of the time. And then also going along with Langerak, that the UDH always possesses some level of uh, moral value and that it increases as the pregnancy goes on. So um, I believe that together those two would, um, would uh, work best. That would be the best combination. Um, so kind of 50-50 of both. And that that would be the um, best, let me, just a second. Yeah, that would, that would be the best ethical way to um, handle abortions. And so, yeah, that's my reflection this week. And uh, school year's almost over, excited about that. And uh, yeah.